Hello, girls and boys. It's Miss Hannah again, ready to read you another story. Today is the last day of school, of home learning. So I thought I'd read a squash and a squeeze, because I bet some of you feel a little bit squashed and squeezed at home with your families at the moment. A squash and a squeeze. I wonder why this lady feels her house is a squash and a squeeze. Shall we find out? A little old lady lived all by herself, with the tables and chairs and a jug on the shelf. A wise old man heard her grumble and grouse. There's not enough room in my house, wise old man. Won't you help me, please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your hen, said the wise old man. Take in my hen? What a curious plan. Well, the hen laid an egg on the fireside rug and flapped round the room, knocking over the jug. The little old lady cried, what shall I do? It was pokey for one and it's tiny for two. My nose has a tickle and there's no room to sneeze. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your goat, said the wise old man. Take in my goat, what a curious plan. Well, the goat chewed the curtains and trod on the egg, then sat down to nibble the table leg. The little old lady cried, glory be, it was tiny for two and it's titchy for three. The hen pecks the goat and the goat's got fleas. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your pig, said the wise old man. Take in my pig, what a curious plan. So she took in her pig, who kept chasing the hen and raiding the larder again and again. The little old lady cried, Stop, I implore. It was titchy for three and it's teeny for four. Even the pig in the larder agrees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your cow, said the wise old man. Take in my cow, what a curious plan. Well, the cow took one look and charged straight at the pig, then jumped on the table and tapped out a jig. The little old lady cried, Heaven's alive, it was teeny for four and it's weeny for five. I'm tearing my hair out, I'm down on my knees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take them all out, said the wise old man. But then I'll be where I first began. So she opened the window and out flew the hen. That's better. At last I can sneeze again. She shooed out the goat and she shoved out the pig. My house is beginning to feel pretty big. She huffed and she puffed and she pushed out the cow. Just look at my house. It's enormous now. Thank you, old man, for the work you have done. It was weeny for five. It's gigantic for one. There's no need to grumble and there's no need to grouse. There's plenty of room in my house. And now she's full of frolics and fiddle dee dees. It isn't a squash and it isn't a squeeze. Yes, she's full of frolics and fiddle dee dees. It isn't a squash or a squeeze. That's the end. The old man showed her that if she brought too many animals into her house, it would feel even smaller. 
and he was teaching her to appreciate what she's got. Now, while we're all at home, staying healthy, you might be feeling a little bit squashed and a little bit squeezed. So, over the two week break, why don't you help mummy or daddy or whoever's looking after you to do some tidying up at home? Maybe you could do some sorting and it will make your house feel a bit bigger too. Have a good break everyone.